Hey everybody, welcome back. Mr. Budke here, coming to you from my classroom. And as you can see, lots of things have changed. Well, wait a minute. Maybe not that much has changed in the classroom, but in education, lots of things have changed. In our day-to-day -day lives, lots of things have changed, okay? But what hasn't changed is here at Chase County, we, we care about you, your learning experience, your high school experience, you as an individual. Hey, we love and miss every one of you. We wish you could be here, but right now that's just the situation we're in. Now, I personally hope that everybody's doing everything they can to help prevent the spread of COVID-19, okay? Wash your hands, practice social distancing, don't gather together, you know, do the things that are responsible because the best thing that we could do for each other is to take care of each other. So that's part of what we're gonna talk about today is how are we going to take care of our education here over the next, I don't know, six weeks or so. What's well, gonna look different? Lots of things will look different, okay? What will class look like? Well, here's an analogy. Think about a day in the spring with a golf meet that maybe starts in the morning and then a track meet that might be all day. And then of course we have a baseball and softball game. So in other words, education is gonna look like this, an empty building. There's not gonna be anybody here. And you know, there'll be a couple of people, but not very many people here. You and I will have to meet a different way. How will we meet? Well, we have technology. We'll kind of sort that out over the next week or so. Some of the things that we're looking at is we might use Canvas. Yeah, there'll be some Canvas things. I might video some lab activities. Yeah, there'll be some of those things. We're going to use something called Zoom. If you haven't really... Uh, ever use Zoom or GoToMeeting or Google Hangouts or maybe even Snapchat chats, okay? Any of those things are like little video conferencing things where we can all share our experiences, you know, kind of face-to-face, -face, only without being face-to-face. -face. So it's not face-to-face, -face, okay? And it'll be fun. There'll be lots of new experiences, you know, like all of us will get to dress casually like me here today. In fact, I'm not even wearing pants. Well, wait a minute. That's not to say I'm not wearing pants. I'm wearing shorts, which is different than not wearing pants. I probably won't do any Zooms where I'm not wearing pants other than just wearing shorts. So there you go. All right, let me take a few questions from around the room. So uh, if anybody has any questions about what it's going to look like, let's go ahead and get those covered now. Yeah, Jim, you had a question? Yes, Mr. Butkey. Yeah, front row Joe here, and I had a question. So. During this time away from class, where we're still having class, like we're still gonna get graded, right? Cause I've got an A and I wanna be able to keep my A. Like I'm still gonna get a grade, is that right? Well, actually Joe, yeah, you will get a grade. Um, we will do things and probably the way that it'll look is that you have, I don't know, a, an introductory activity of, hey, this is what the week's gonna look like. Here's some, practice problems or examples of what we're doing. Maybe there's a video of a lab that I've completed that I want you to watch, okay? But there'll be some activity where through the week, you know, every day you have a little bit of time where you're doing something related to our content area. And then at the end of the week, there'll be something that says, hey, I understood what you were talking about. Maybe that's a quiz, maybe it's a little project, something, but there'll be some sort of authentication that, yeah, you understood what we were doing, and that way, Joe, you get your grade, we all get our learning experience. Great question, thanks for asking. Yo, Mr. Budkey. Yo. So, uh, class, yeah. How much time do you think this is gonna take out of my day? Cause I'm pretty busy now. Now, you know, I mean, what was staying home all day, and, not talking to anybody or going anywhere. I want to know how much time I should schedule for, you know, your classroom activities. Ah, how much time? Well, that's a good question. Um, typically, I would say if you had 30 minutes that we would had something going on, that would be about the maximum amount of time. And I'm going to guess somewhere between 10 and 20 minutes a day where you're looking at some material or listening to something or maybe even practicing a problem or two. But uh, yeah, something certainly less than a half hour. So yeah, you could schedule that around your uh, isolationism and uh, non-communication. And uh, by the way, no hats in my class. Thanks. 
Yo, Mr. Budkey. Yeah, in the back, sleeves optional guy. What's up? So you say there's gonna be some, I don't know, stuff to work on at home. Like, will there be homework that we have to, you know, work out? Or will, will there be things for you to do at home? Yeah, yeah, so I, I'm imagining that there will be, like I will introduce a concept, there will be a few problems, I'll go through how to do those, something like a show me, I'll share that with you, and then later, you can work them out on your own. All right, guys, so that's a little bit of what it's gonna look like. Um, you know, long story short, uh, nobody really knows. You know, we're kind of building it as we go, but one thing I can guarantee you, uh, I'm gonna do my best to keep my sense of humor through this whole thing, okay? Because, you know, we still are who we are. Not that much has changed. We can't see each other. Maybe we're not shaking hands for a little while. But one thing that we are going to do is we're going to stay together. We're going to hang together. We're going to be bulldogs. We're going to get this thing done. Now, over the next six weeks or whatever, if you have any questions, every week in Canvas, you'll see that my name, my number, my office hours, all those things are listed there and available for you. And you'll have my cell phone number. Uh, perhaps we're Snapchat chat friends. Okay, but whatever the case may be, you can always get a hold of me and say, hey, Mr. Bucky, I have a question on this, or hey, Mr. Bucky, I just need to hear that things were all right. Hey, and guess what? Things are going to be all right. Okay, we may not be together here for a little while, but you'll be with me all the time. And until I see you again, au revoir.